scientific management, we have the following dearest. Frederick Taylor, Henry Gant, and lastly, Frank and Lillian Gilbreth. Frederick Taylor, Theory of Scientific Management Taylor's theory of scientific management aimed to improving economic efficiency, especially labor productivity. Taylor had a simple view about what motivated people at work money. He felt that workers should get a fair day's pay for a fair day's work, and that pay should be linked to the amount produced. Therefore he introduced the differential piece rate system of paying wages to the workers. Taylor's Scientific Principles 1. Develop a science for each element of an individual's work, which will replace the old rule of thumb method. 2. Scientifically select and then train, teach, and develop the worker. 3. Heartily cooperate with the worker so as to ensure that all work is done in accordance with the principles of the science that has been developed. And, 4. Divide work and responsibility almost equally between management and workers. Management takes over all work for which it is better fitted than the workers. Henry Gantt. A Gantt chart is a type of bar chart that illustrates a project schedule, named after its inventor, Henry Gantt who designed such a chart around the years 1910-1915. Modern Gantt charts also show the dependency relationships between activities and current schedule status. Scientific management, Frank and Lillian Gilbreth, focused on increasing worker productivity through the reduction of wasted motion, developed the microchronometer to time worker motions and optimize work performance. Scientific management. How do today's managers use scientific management? Use time and motion studies to increase productivity, hire the best qualified employees, and design incentive systems based on output. Thank you.